Treatment for Crohn's disease varies depending upon the needs and responses of individual patients. There are a variety of treatment options available today. The following video outlines a typical course of treatment for Crohn's disease. The information within may not directly apply to your child's case and is intended for educational purposes only. The specific treatment plan should be developed by your child's physician with your input. Everyone is unique and Crohn's disease may require different treatment options depending upon your individual case. Sometimes doctors will have you try several treatments to see what works best for you. When a patient who has inflammatory bowel disease is having symptoms, typically our first goal is to get their symptoms under control as quickly as possible so that they can return to their normal life. Patients who are first diagnosed with Crohn's disease typically have symptoms. They may have abdominal pain, they may have diarrhea, they may have weight loss, they might have fever. When the disease is active, we'll often use stronger medications. Sometimes we call them induction agents to control that inflammation. For Crohn's disease, we sometimes use agents like prednisone. It works very rapidly. Usually, most of our patients are feeling better once they're on prednisone within a week or two, sometimes within even a few days. But because prednisone has side effects, we typically use that medication for a short period of time and then we start backing off and introducing the maintenance medication. Maintenance medication commonly used in patients with Crohn's disease include things like 6-mercaptopurine, azathioprine, or methotrexate. In general, medications that are more effective in controlling inflammation also have more side effects and require closer follow-up. In most cases, we hope to treat the inflammation in patients with Crohn's disease with their maintenance medications. However, there are going to be times when their inflammation doesn't respond or loses its response to these maintenance agents. When that does occur, we may have to use more potent medications like prednisone or infliximab to better control the disease. The hope will be that the rescue medications will be used to bring the inflammation under control to a point where maintenance medications can again be effective. The long-term goal is going to be to put in place a treatment plan that's going to keep their disease in remission for the longest time. In some patients, the inflammation in the intestine doesn't respond to our medications or loses its response to our medications. When that does occur, we often consult with a surgeon uh, and discuss the possibility of removing segments of the intestine that are inflamed. Uh, now, several months later, we find ourselves treating him with yet another course of steroids. And I'm just not optimistic that we're going to be able to manage his disease just using medicines. It's very important for children who, who have Crohn's disease to be seen by their physician on a regular basis. But I'm just going to take your temperature and your blood pressure. Yep. This gives us an opportunity to perform physical exams, make sure they're gaining weight, and make sure that their inflammation is under control. The second thing it allows us to do is to check for any side effects of the medication. Now, the medications that we use for Crohn's disease are actually quite safe. However, they do have some side effects. All right, 20 milligrams. Um, now you're only taking it in the morning. You used to take Our goal in treating patients with Crohn's disease is to use medical therapies to control the inflammation. And in doing so, we make them feel well and maximize their quality of life. They return to school, they return to social activities, they return to their routine. Therapy for Crohn's disease is constantly improving. There are additional resources and links on this DVD to help keep you current. Additional information can be found at www.childrenshospital.org slash IBD and at www.ccfa.org. The information provided in this DVD is intended for general education only. Your physician will work with you to develop a specific plan for treatment.